Now we're going to look at how we find images that we will use for voiceovers and how we can download those and import those into iMovie. Um, sometimes it makes sense for us to film a clip and then sometimes it just makes sense for us to do a voiceover, especially if it's something really quick like movie night um, or early dismissal. Those things can sometimes just be a little easier doing a, a voiceover. So um, you have two websites that you can visit if you are looking for images and one of them is Pixabay pixabay.com the link for this is in our canvas course and this is a place that has as you can tell over 930,000 free stock photos this means these images are copyright free we could go to Google we could look up images there but those people did not necessarily give permission for us to use those pictures um, and although people do it all the time and there's nothing to really stop us from doing it we want to make sure we're being good digital citizens so we want to make sure we are using images that people have said it is okay you can use this image it's copyright free so this is Pixabay and this website lets us find copyright free images so let's say we have a, a movie night coming up we may look for popcorn because we know that at movie night we have popcorn and pizza and these are the images we get we get a couple of different results and so we have some choices um, that we can choose from I kind of like this frog so I'm gonna click on him and what you're able to do is preview the image a little bit larger see if you still want to use it and if you want to use this image you can do a free download and click the green download button again and what it's going to ask you to do is just to type in this code here this is just to verify that we are not a robot so I'm typing in port 75080 every time it's a different code so it'll be a little different every time you use it but now it has downloaded and if you remember from our other video once it's in our download folder all we have to do to get it into iMovie is to click from our downloads location right here in our dock click drag and drop so that's one way to import pictures into iMovie for a voiceover another website is pics for learning with the number four pics for learning.com I um, sometimes we'll come here especially if I'm just looking for a nature picture or food they do have things broken down into categories here as well as a search bar I have more luck using Pixabay but let's see what happens when we come and look for popcorn with Pics for Learning you can see I didn't get as many results um, certainly not as interesting in my opinion but if you find an image that you want you click on it and you can click download this image and it is downloading and then you can then drag it into iMovie. So this is how we find pictures for our voiceovers and how we import them into iMovie.